Hi, I'm Derek Willis with the Open Elections Project, and we're launching an occasional series of screencasts showing how we collect and convert election results into data. Today, I'd like to show you how we use Tabula, which is open source software for extracting tabular data from electronic PDF files. Tabula recently released its 1.0 version with an all new interface, so let's take a look. Many states and counties provide election results in electronic PDF files. In our experience, Tabula works best on those files that contain clear rows and columns, although it can be used to extract data from a variety of layouts. First, if you don't have Tabula, you can download it in versions for the Mac, for Windows, or the source code from the Tabula site, which is tabula.technology. The app runs locally in the browser, so after starting it, you'll be taken to a 127.0.0.1 URL. This is the main Tabula window, where you can upload PDFs and begin the extraction process. So let's find something to work with. We'll use this PDF file from Clatsop County in Oregon, which covers the 2012 primary election. And we'll focus on the Democratic presidential primary contest. The first step is to save this PDF file locally, which we've already done, and then to upload it using that tabula interface. So I'll just go and find that file and import it into tabula. Tabula will process the file looking for tables that it, it can extract data from. After a few seconds, it may take longer for larger files, we can see thumbnail images of each page on the left-hand side and a larger image for single pages on the right-hand side. Tabula offers the option of automatically detecting tables, but in general, I prefer to do this job by myself for two reasons. First, it helps me learn about any quirks of the PDF's layout and second, not all the tables are of the same size and shape, and some of them extend over multiple pages. Looking at the Democratic presidential primary results, we can use the cursor to draw a box around the area we want to extract. I'm going to include a header row in this case, but you can adjust the boundaries after you draw the box around them. You can preview the results of your efforts by clicking on this Preview and Export Extracted Data button. So let's do that now. As you can see, this isn't quite what we wanted. While the first column is split properly, the other remaining columns are combined into a single one. And this leads me to one of my top recommendations for using Tabula. If you have a header row that is uneven, like this one, which has no header for the first column, but does for the remaining ones, then it's often best to skip the header row when drawing those boundaries. Let's go back and revise our selection to adjust the boundary lines so we capture just the data, not the header row. We can do that just simply by changing the boundaries that we've already previously drawn. And once we do that, we can click the Preview and Export button again. That looks much better. Now we have columns for each individual column represented in the PDF. In my experience, Tabula works best when it has consistent data to work with. Although, as I said before, it is possible to draw very fine-tuned boundaries for individual rows and even columns. If we're satisfied with the preview, and in this case we are, we can either download or copy the resulting CSV file. You can also choose other formats, including XML if you like. But if you just want to copy this data into an Excel spreadsheet, for example, you can simply click the Copy to Clipboard button. Switch over to your spreadsheet and paste it in. Pasting the data into the new Excel sheet, you'll see that while it is separated by commas, you'll still need to use Excel's text to column feature to split those columns. So we can just do that pretty quickly and it's delimited by comma, and now the data is separated into columns in Excel. After you do that text to columns thing once, pasting in C CSV text subsequently will result in the columns being split into their places automatically. And now we could add a header row.
So, of course, you don't have to manually draw the boundaries around tables, but I still recommend it in most cases. Since you want to ensure that you've gotten all the data you want and excluded the data that you don't want. A couple of other pointers with tabula. If the data isn't parsed properly, you can choose a different extraction method. The default, which we use, is called stream, which looks for white space between columns. The alternate one is called lattice, and that looks for boundary lines that exist between columns. I've seen both kinds appear in electronic PDF files. In many cases, you'll want to start small with a new PDF and experiment to see what works best on extracting the data from it. Once you've found the right solution, Tabula can really help you speed up the process of extracting data without any data entry at all, meaning many fewer mistakes. In our next video, we'll look at another tool for extracting text from electronic PDFs, the command line tool called XPDF. In the meantime, you can learn more about Open Elections at openelections.net or by following us on Twitter at OpenElex. That's open E-L-E-X. And thanks for watching.